this video is uh, meant for people who are working in python and have a prior experience of basics of python okay so if you are into this video and you are uh, planning to understand functions or definitions then this is the right video for you and if you want if you're still new to the python and you want to understand the concept of python how exactly the definitions uh, the data types and the while loops and for loops and conditions are working uh, you can uh, uh, check the description of this video and get the relative links okay so let's get started so guys uh, in this video we are going to learn about uh, functions in python i know uh, we all are some or the other way have been using these functions in our python journey and but there are uh, other uh, possible options also available when we can use and consume functions so one way that we know of is by uh, using the inbuilt functions which are available right so we also call them methods in my videos i have already i may might have called them methods also or maybe we, we can call them as functions but if there is a chance that all the functions which are available in the python uh, are something which is uh, not uh, helping you or maybe not solving solving your problem so in that case we have a liberty to create our own function okay so before we jump into the definition of the function so first let's understand what exactly is termed as functions so what is function a function is nothing uh, a block of code a block of code let's say a certain code which is kind of checking the uh, status of your electricity in one room maybe you have written 120 200 lines or 5 10 lines to identify that clubbing them into one block into one block one container and naming it uh, with some name so that you have the access to it after some time or whenever you need it so for example this is a function let's say if you in c1 and here i'm writing code for some uh, what do we say uh, some code for example i'm writing a is equals to a plus b c is equals to c plus d or da, 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 something like that right now so this code this function is something which may be reused at multiple places so what i have done is i have added this function one uh, and given the name to this body and given the name as function one and now i will uh, call this whenever I need that's the advantage that you get with the help of functions so what is a function functions are group of codes group of lines bundled together and being set at one place with a common name and then is being called whenever is needed okay that's a simple definition of function so if I try to explain you the more about it so for example i have this function now i take another box and there is another function called function 2 if you can see 2 and this is kind of doing a, let's say a mathematics a mathematical operation maybe a is equals to uh, b or b cube cube but this b is being provided by he is being provided by this guy uh maybe this that other one yeah this this b is being provided by this guy so this b is dependent this b is dependent on function one so what will happen is we can have the liberty of calling this uh what we say uh, function 2 from function 1 by passing the required parameter so this function 2 can be dedicatedly written to find out the cube of the number and this function is being written dedicatedly to find the sum of the numbers and they both are ca are sitting idle and cannot be executed independently they have to be 
called from some place so for example from here i am calling function one and inside this maybe in the next line i am calling function two okay and it, it is you can call the functions nested also so in, in in the body of this function in the body of this function that means here in the body of this function i can simply call a function function two so that's the advantage that you can draw with the functions. So nutshell, in a nutshell, summary is writing code, making it reusable. So functions give you a reusability of your code. And that is what we have already been doing. You remember in the list, we have to find the sum or we have to find the length. So we reused the inbuilt function. So now instead of inbuilt function, we are creating our own function. So that is the definition of functions. So I'll just give you the syntax and and then we can jump on to the examples. So what is the syntax of a function? So I write uh, def is the inbuilt keyword name of function. Then I write this colon and then there is an obvious space of tab and then write your code a is equals to a plus b variables should be uh, defined here itself so i will just take this a is equals to one and b is equals to two something like this and i will just drag this section a little up yep i think here is okay and then perfect so Okay, so here, uh, here, and then uh, at the next line, I can uh, simply go and do that mathematical operation that or whatever I want to do. Okay, I want to do, uh, I want to do C is equals to, that is A plus B, I will do and then do whatever rest of the code you want to do. So this function, which has a name, which has a name of, uh, let me take another color. Yeah, this function, where is the color? Here we go. And I'll take red. This function, this function is something which has a reusability, which has a reusability capability. And you can call this function from anywhere you want to. Okay. So for example, I am writing another function, maybe this function only. And if I uh, if I name this as function 2 and I want to call this as name f then I will just simply at the end of this here I will write name underscore name underscore f and remember these brackets have a special power you can take variables and you cannot take variables if you want to pass let's say a from this function then you can simply pass the value of a and this a will be reached here and will be accepted as something like this a and then colon some this so this a will be reached from here to here it will, this will be passed from this to this and can be further processed then in that case we do not need this this is not needed so what i will do is i'll just comment it off okay so that's the concept of function and calling of the functions so definition why this is perfect but if you want to to understand the example watch my next video which will take one short example and will, will help you understand more ex in an example way right so guys do subscribe the channel if you have not subscribed it and hope uh, i was able to make some sense with respect to the definitions here take care bye bye